Hey Libras. Hi. This is your girl Redivine with Redivine Tarot. And I'm here today to do your January the 5th through the 15th love reading. I'm trying to get this thing going because for some reason it just keeps falling over. Alright, so Libras. I hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. Oh, before I start. I hope you guys enjoyed your holiday. I hope y'all spent time with your family and your friends. I hope you guys brought in the new year with your best intentions to slay all year long. I wish y'all the best. But let's clear this energy. Let's get some cleansing going on all right guys january 5th through the 15th One more. All right. Bottom of the deck, two of swords. This has been coming in a lot. All right. So this is your energy, the night of the night of swords. So you could be indecisive about something. You're not sure about an idea. January 5th through the 15th, love, life. All right, the first card that popped out, we have the Eight of Swords. So you could be feeling stuck. Hmm. Okay. So we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with the nurse sign. That's going to be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But I see it looks like you could be feeling stuck. Because it looks like there was some type of, there could possibly be some type of separation. Some type of breakup or some type of heartbreaking news that came in. Um, it looks like in the past we have the Hierophant. This is about making commitments. This is about, this is marriage. So there was some type of commitment to something in the past. In the future, we have the Eight of Wands. So this is quick forms of communication. So there could be some messages coming in. Or you could just be getting ready to do something really, really quick. And what's crowning you is the Queen of Cups. So there could be a water sign involved in this situation. Or this could be you. I'm just feeling emotional um, in your feelings or in your emotions about a situation. Or like I said, you could be dealing with the water sign, which is going to be Pisces. Scorpio or Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. How you're going to be feeling in the situation, we have the Six of Pentacles. So there's a need or a sense of give and take here. But then well, how others see you, we have the Devil card. So there could definitely be a Capricorn um, that you're dealing with. Or you could be dealing with this somebody, somebody that's toxic. Um, has toxic energy that's been bringing a lot of toxic and destruction and binding you, keeping you bounded and making you feel stuck in a situation. Others might feel like that um, in regards to the situation. 
and the hopes and fears we have to have priestess so maybe you're hoping that a secret is revealed um but your outcome we have the judgment card so there's going to be some type of awakening there's going to be some type of realization on something so let's see what's going on all right the eight of cups so somebody walked away and there was some heartbreak and i think that you're feeling stuck about it and we have the lovers so there was some type of commitment here there possibly could have been a proposal or there could have been like a serious relationship in the past that looks like somebody could have possibly walked away from you could have walked away from it or somebody could have walked away from you and we have the knight of pentacles here in in the future so the knight of pentacles is earth energy again so there's definitely a lot of earth energy here but I feel like you could be getting some communication in from an earth sign. Or this is just an earth sign coming in and they're coming in quickly. We have the Ten of Wands paired up here with the Queen of Cups. So there could be a lot of emotions. You could be feeling really, really emotional in regards to, you know what I'm saying, some, some type of heartache, some type of heartbreak. And we got the Three of Pentacles here with the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like you're wanting to work this situation out. The moon. So I could I feel like I just feel like like you guys could be secretly having sex or um this Capricorn is a secret. And then the four of cups. I feel like you don't want it to be a secret anymore. Or you just didn't like it's something that you didn't like about the situation maybe you wasn't using your intuition maybe you feel like you didn't use your intuition then we got the five on wands so i feel like there's going to be some type of conflict um but there's going to be some type of final decision that's going to be made out of this some final decision is going to it's going to come out of this for the five of wands Yeah. Okay. I feel like you're not sure or you're not wanting to you're not wanting to compete. You're not wanting to argue. I feel like you're just going to you just want to make a final decision on this. I feel like yeah, there's going to be a final decision that's going to be made. You don't want to argue anymore. You don't want to fuss. You don't want to do all of the hoorah ha. You want to either work this out or you want this to be over with. But I do feel like you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or it could be a Capricorn and a Pisces. But I feel like there's, this could possibly be like a secret love affair. And you don't want anybody to find out. I feel like you don't want anybody to find out. I think that's what this is. You don't want anybody to find out about it. And... You don't want any conflict. Like, you made a decision, like, I don't want any conflict. I don't want no drama from this situation. So, I feel like you're going to want to... I feel like you're, there's going to be a sense of wanting to try this again. But I feel like it could be with an earth sign. I feel like it could be with the Earth sign. I feel like it could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But I feel like there's some type of secret thing going on here. All right, Libras. That's going to be your love reading from January the 5th through the 15th. I love to stay here and chat it up with you guys, but I got to keep it rolling. I got to keep it moving. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. If this resonated with you, leave me a thumbs up. Um, if it didn't, please check your moon and your rising. Um, and thanks for tuning in. I will check back in with you guys next week. Ciao for now.